<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to R1 Works. I'm with my team driver Jordan Yancey here and we got our DC1 car in front of us. And if you've been following our YouTube videos, we've been uh, building it step by step between the two of us and it is all complete. And now we are ready to program the ESC using our Wi-Fi module. So I'm going to have Jordan take over as soon as I get it connected on my phone and you guys will be able to see what we are doing and he's going to walk you through it. Um, but as always guys, make sure you like our videos and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because uh, you don't want to miss out on any future videos. So I'll go ahead and turn on the car. I already got the Wi-Fi module connected. Wait for it to pop up on my Wi-Fi. There it is. Now I'll go with the app and I'm gonna hand it over to Jordan. Okay, so first we're gonna get it connected. All right, now we're connected. So we can go to settings and First, we want to disable the voltage cutoff for the for the drag racing. Uh, we just keep going down. Uh, temp cutoff, we can leave that at um, where it comes out the box. Fan control, either auto or on. If you want to have the fan continuously running, I would suggest on. If not, just leave it at auto, it's fine. But I'm going to go to throttle settings right now. And for the power curve, usually leave it linear. So that's three, which is most linear from top to bottom. And then acceleration, you could you could bump that up to 10. Start power, whatever. Your start power is basically the punch once you get on the throttle on the radio. So I typically would run that around 20, 20 to 25-ish, depending, depending on the traction. Um, neutral width, normal is fine. And we're not using smooth start rate or smooth start range right now. So we just leave those settings as is. So reverse for drag racing, we're not using any reverse. We don't want that because when we get on the brakes, we don't want a, the car to back up into things, you know? Totally. So we're just leaving that as is right there. So brake response, I'm typically using uh, uh, about 35 on the brake response. Drag brake, I'm not running any at all, so leaving that at zero. The minimum brake amount, I'm leaving that. The max brake amount, I'm putting this to about 50. Uh, mid brake, I could leave that at 50. A mid brake location, I'm leaving that at 50 as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm running a soft brake. Cool. So for the frequency, the brake frequency, I'm usually running about 12K on that. The motor frequency, it depends. Um, so the lower frequency will act weird sometimes. It'll make the car run weird, sound weird. Too low would, and I know too high would gener generate a lot of heat in the ESC. So I'm usually running around uh, 15 to start. Typically running around, around there. Cool. Drag frequency, I'm leaving that at one. So the boost in turbo. Uh, so where it gets interesting. Yeah. So boost. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so the um, what we're using is to start. I just want to give you guys a starting point. I don't want anything. You know, we're not responsible for people blowing up this. Yeah, thing. yeah. You don't so want to give them some crazy stuff. Just, just something to start with, and you know, get going. So for the, we're just doing do the RPM range boost. So we we'll usually start it. The RPMs at about uh, fifteen thousand, and we'll max this out to sixty-five thousand. Okay. So boost, you know, anywhere from you know, ten, twenty, thirty. Okay. That's that's all personal preference, and that's on you how much you want to go. Yeah. Turbo is a little bit safer than boost, I would say. Okay. So you could run a little bit more, but I wouldn't crank it up, do anything crazy. I'll keep about twenty, twenty-two. Okay. About right there. So, if you're using a fancy radio with the, you know, you have a ramp in the radio or anything, yeah, you shouldn't need any turbo delay. But some people will run turbo delay. You could put it at 0.05. Then the slope, I'm usually running that about 0.4. That's just how fast the turbo is coming in. So I would to get the full 22 degrees of the turbo, it'll take 0.4 seconds to get all the way in. Okay. The turbo slope, usually running this at about 0.5. That's just 
how fast the turbo comes comes in out of, out of the car okay once you get off of it cool so that's about 0.5 i think that's about safe and we're gonna save this save complete and i i'm usually i usually reset the turn, you know, off, turn it, it off and turn it back on. on okay i don't think you you don't have to but that's just how i do it yeah and then everything should be good awesome yeah Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I mean, I know I learned something today because I'm a 10 scale electric racer. Mm -hmm. So this all this uh, boost and turbo and drag racing stuff is all new to me. So it was really fun to build this car, get to know it. And now yeah. going through the electronics with you definitely really helps out. Makes me want to yeah. get out on the track myself yeah, and get, give there. this drag racing yeah. stuff a try. Yeah. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if there's anything else that you'd like to see us do or view, uh, help you out on, please leave a comment in the video and we'll go ahead and, and make that video to help you guys out because you guys left a comment saying that this is what you wanted so we're delivering we're doing it for you guys we're here for you yep. the racers um but yeah thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time thanks. later